Hi everyone, it's Margaret here to share my latest project. I've gone back to making uh, some pillows, which I, I used to do quite a bit uh, before. I ventured off into uh, experimenting with uh, journals and altering and other projects like that. Um, I guess my first love initially was making um, boudoir pillows. And um, this one was inspired by some gorgeous flowers that Vaude just recently sent me. Um, in fact, I have used um, some of her flowers in this project. The colors were just absolutely perfect. Um, everything that I, that I love. And uh, she makes the most amazing flowers. So um, I was going to hoard them initially, as I said. It's very hard to use up these, these beautiful supplies, but um, I just had to use it, uh, use them in this pillow. Now what I did is I first formed a, um, a bolster style um, cushion and uh, that's simply by using a round, a round bolster um, insert um, and then I built around it. What I did was I used a, a very pale pink lining and on top of that um, I used this gorgeous lace trim a uh, lace um, yeah, trim that I had found from a dress and I used that on top and then I created the um, um, the little uh, round sides to finish it off and I gathered up uh, and gathered up uh, the the circle part and tacked it down with some beautiful trim and then stuffed it um, to give it a little bit of dimension now this is one of uh, Vaughn's flowers as you can see it's absolutely beautiful I used that on the end and I only had one so I had to do my best to replicate it for the other side because I thought it was just perfect for the ends and there's my version I tried to get it as close as possible um, the front of the uh, of the cushion features a beautiful lady as you can see printed on the fabric using the technique that I had, had uh, done the tutorial on. Um, I find that freezer paper is still the best uh, and the most economical way and it, I always get such beautiful results. This time I used a little bit he heavier fabric um, and it turned out really pretty. So the colors in this picture uh, were just perfect. She's, she's absolutely gorgeous. So I made her the focal point of the cushion in the center and then using a heavy corded uh, trim, um, I had tea dyed that and then um, covered it in pearls all around. And I built the, uh, the picture up with some gorgeous uh, uh, peachy pink uh, lace again from the uh, um, parcel that uh, Va had sent me. It's absolutely beautiful. I combined the two different types of laces to give it some texture here. And then I built around it again using some um, roses. This is the rose that Va sent. This is another another um, flower with the crochet and that same pinky flower with the bling. And that's another flower that Va had sent me. And this is a fl beautiful flower that I had in my stash. I did not make this one. I had it. I bought it. And uh, I just love the combination of the colors. Um, underneath, I used a, um, a little... Uh, uh, peachy pink corded lace um, underneath as a little platform there and then at the bottom I had a, um, a gorgeous uh, applique which I um, stained or avocado dyed rather in, um, in a beautiful pinky color and then to add interest to the cushion I added a row of um, fringe and then an, another couple of rows of this beautiful uh, tassel trim with the beads and uh, added a couple of rows on top of that of the uh, of the pearls uh, just to make it a little uh, a little different you don't have to have these matchy matchy actually i like creating um uh, asymmetrical um, designs that your eye is going back and forth so that you're you're looking at more than than one thing and it makes the whole project a little bit more interesting and as you can see on this side um, i've added I repeated the um, the tassel trim over here with the beautiful beads. I love that. I had found that uh, I think on some drapery, and put, just put a row of that on that side just to make it a little bit different and eye catching. So 
there you can see um, she's absolutely beautiful and uh, I'll give you a little spin around again with the uh, the end and then the back showcasing this gorgeous lace I love that lace and the the trim now as I said I have made uh, quite a few pillows in the past um, and I just have a couple here that I wanted to share with you also I have my Victorian love letter pillow um, she's one of my favorites and I have held on to her um, because it's uh, I just love the colors in it. It's like a satiny coral color and then uh, this beautiful Victorian lady which is totally embellished in lace and rosettes and all the beads. She's got a beautiful beaded uh, necklace. But what's what's nice about this pillow, it also has a gorgeous generous trim all around as you can see. Um, it really really makes the, the cushion uh, very rich all around. And then what I've done also is um, on the reverse side um, so that it is also useful I've created a uh, a pocket so I call this my love letter my love letter uh, Victorian pillow and I did have a um, a beautiful vintage um, love postcard in the back here um, but I guess I don't know where what a, what ended up happening to it I guess I took it out but anyway that's the back of it and that's the the Victorian style pillow and I I love her I've been hanging on to her for dear life and then there's another style um, too because you can you can do all kinds of things with cushions I had made this little French uh, pillow some time ago again I'm I'm hoarding this one um, <coughs> excuse me it's done again in a very um, pale pink uh, and uh, uh, lace and a gorgeous uh, lace French lace trim at the uh, either side of it as you can see the base is, is just a very simple rectangular pillow um, not too big uh, and then you just go crazy with the ruffles on either side and then I made this beautiful uh, rosette um, flower for the corner and added a little stick pin to that so the sky's the limit when you're making cushions. Um, I have so much fun making them and uh, I will probably be making a, a few more in the next little while. Um, I am getting ready for a, um, a Christmas craft show soon that I do with, uh, with my niece uh, every year. So um, I'm trying to make a few things uh, to bring along with me. But just wanted to share a couple of those and, uh, but mostly I do love my, my bolster pillow. Thanks to Vol for all the beautiful flowers and um, thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon with another project. Bye bye for now.